Hi there, my name is Oliver, and this is Information Technology. My name is Hirsch, I'm a senior at Kaner Tech, and I'm in the IT shop. Hello, my name is Tyrell Parker, I'm a senior at the IT shop at Kaner Tech. This whole industry revolves around computers and computing. We do a vast variety of things. In the freshman year, we mainly focused on our Microsoft Office fundamentals and getting certifications in those. Sophomore year, we learned about mobile app development. In junior year, we also did some Python programming. We also learned a little bit about the Adobe suite and the various products. And in senior year, you have to design your own pathway, like whatever you want to do, like whether it be cybersecurity, networking, whatever. You can certify in that and get a certification for free. So therefore, this can help you out in the field and you already have a leg up against people who want to go in this field and have not attended this program. Well, the certifications help because it gives us extra credibility when applying to a job. The certifications I have are Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, IC3 Digital Literacy Certification, and the certification I'm currently working on is CompTIA A+. This is what kind of stuff we can make with the 3D printer and it's really detailed if you could look. Uh, you're going to be seeing a variety of uh, tasks that we have performed in the shop. The first one is a 3D printer. So in the back of the 3D printer, there's a, a filament, something like, like this up here. And it gets fed through this tube into this uh, extruder. And what the extruder does is it's motorized on an X and Y and Z axis. What it does is it heats up and melts the plastic. And then it'll just print out whatever you put on the file. I made this thing with the printer we have. You kind of just take a 9 volt and plug it in and there's an Arduino which sends a bunch of its outputs to this little mp3 thing and when you press the button it just kind of makes noises a fun little soundboard thing that I threw together the case that I made for it just kind of keeps it protected and it also kind of makes it louder <laughs> Another thing you're going to be seeing is virtual reality, also known as VR. With this robot, I basically made a program where you put on a VR headset and using it, you can move around his head. And while you move around his head, uh, you can actually use the camera over here and see what he's seeing. This guy supports Python as a programming language, so if I need him to like move his head, I can just say in one command, move your head to these coordinates. Uh, I eventually had a full program which would just move his head in accordance with the headset and then it would take images from him, it would grab it and then it would upload them to the headset and then that's the end product, you get to move around and see what he sees. Another thing you're going to be seeing is digital arts. With this image, I went over to Photoshop and I created this low poly, short for low polygon portrait. My favorite parts about being in the shop for the past few years is that I did a little bit of tinkering with Unity uh, and learning game design. Something I worked on in this program called Unity is that I gave this little fox character an animation. So what I did to accomplish this is that I cut the characters into five frames, then I made an animator controller, then using a little bit of C-sharp, I was able to then drag the animator onto the character, allowing it to animate when it went left and right. I love working on this project because game design is something I want to pursue in the future. My first year plans out of high school are to go to college and get a degree in computer science or cybersecurity. I am deeply interested in this uh, field and I can apply it and we all use IT related products in our world every day. So whenever you work here, you're making a difference for someone in the world, whatever that is. Being an IT educator has helped me set up for success because IT jobs are in high demand right now and I have higher experience than those who would normally graduate high school. I feel like I made probably the best choice for my future.